It was already 30 minutes into it. Yeah, we, we were actually having problems. So I'm saying, I should say that the 30 minutes was really noisy. <laughs> so we, we had just started, so yeah. Uh, friendship is a really, um, are we talking about being ghosted by friends and in respect to social media or what? Or just in general? In a uh, general more, more like uh, in general, but not romantic uh, Kali involved, maybe your best friend, especially somebody who you have, uh, who has, you know, there are some friends who become like family to you. Yes. You have developed the friendship to the level that you no longer see them as a friend, but a family. Somebody you could go above and beyond for sacrifice. You know, you are just there. You think or you you thought <laughs> they were there for you. Then you wake up one day and realize that they stop picking your call. They don't respond to your message. You go and ask them, what did I do? And they oh, it's fine. You didn't do anything. I've just become busy, you know. And you know they're not being honest with you. There's, there, there has to be something. <laughs> Yes, yes, and you're very right. Um, I had a an awakening. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. Oh. Let me mute myself. An awakening. Sorry. Hi, Paula. Hey, daughter. Hello. Hello. So I I had more of um a wake up call. It's it was more like a, a slap in the face, I should say. When I decided to go back to Cameroon this past November to do my wedding, the people I thought were my friends, that experience actually showed me their true colors. Okay. The people I thought were more than friends were more like sisters to me, right? Um, I don't know if this is also very rampant in your area, but in Cameroon, there is... Um, poisoning there, there is this um this hatred for those coming outside of the country so you really have to be really mindful about um who you interact with what you take from people to eat drinks vice versa right? so these people were those people that i felt more comfortable with or so i thought <laughs> You know, so I thought I felt I, I could feel I could be myself around them. I could um I could trust them per se with my life. But I learned quickly that the people that I thought were my friends or that I saw as more of sisters, right? Deep down they didn't see me that way. Rather, they saw me as, in essence, uh, a threat or someone who came to overshadow them, right? Sometimes when we think we have best friends, you think your best friend wants your best interests at heart. I'm sorry to say, but I, I no longer believe in the concept of best friends. <laughs> I don't. Exactly. I believe <laughs> that you are your own best friend. Mm -hmm. you are your own best friend i don't i don't believe that two people can truly want the best for each other you know um like bond like share information if i know things that are going to help you grow let's say for instance i don't know uh mit uh miss paula faith are you a content creator are you a page owner no i'm not okay so Reason why I asked you that is that um, if you had a best friend, okay, like in the space of social media, content creators, and your best friend has this information, valuable information that could be beneficiary to you, or if they see that you are doing something on your page that you shouldn't be doing, would they hold your hands and say, come on, let's climb the ladder together? I've never had that happen. You know, I've never had that so-called quote unquote best friend that will call me to action you know that will bring me back when they see me going astray i've never seen that happen well actually i do have people that will hold me accountable now they don't they're not necessarily what i would call a best friend i truly believe i have more than one person more than five possibly 
that will that has no problem pulling my coattail and say, "Sis, you didn't do that right." I I believe that there are some people. I know my heart. Yes. And I know Alice. People like Alice. That's my daughter. Okay. Thank you. So uh, much. Spirit, that's my spiritual daughter. Um, and I truly, I have faith. I, we don't call each other best friend. I don't use that terminology. Yes. But I trust her with my whole heart. And I know her heart. Yes. So I don't think you have to look for to the best friend if you want to call it for that. Now, when it comes to friends, well, just in life, I'll say this. I, I have a kind heart. And I used to get disappointed in people a lot. And so it took, I, 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 I remember saying, why don't people treat me the way I treat them? And it took um, a pastor I had to say, Minister Paula, everybody's not like you. Yes. Okay. So now I'm not necessarily looking to someone to be all of that to me. Yes. I, I'm thankful when I have people, like I said, like uh, my daughter, Alice. I'm thankful when I have people like her in my life, but I don't, I know that people are human and it's very possible that I may not get back what I give. Yes. So um, I don't go around saying best friend or nothing like that, but yeah. sometimes we have too high expectations for people that they don't live up to. And, and it has to do with where we are in this world too, you know, Yeah. People, people's hearts are wax cold. And so we run into that too. So if you ever find you don't you don't have to call them your best friend, but if you have someone that has your best interest in heart, and like you said, we'll pu pull your coattail, you know, when you're wrong, and uplift you when you're right, then that's an awesome thing to have in your life. Yes, I have a sister. You know, I can be proud to say I have a sister, not biologically, but um, I have a cousin. I have a cousin that I can say, if I am going astray, will pull me back and say, hey, what you're doing, you're not supposed to do this or do that. You know, I am blessed to have that, that, that sisterly bond. Mm -hmm. But I won't label her a best friend. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I won't label her. I would want to still keep um, some hope alive. Um, I always say no matter how polluted our generation has become or the world has become, if I see myself as a good person, then there are they, there is a possibility of somebody being like me out there. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to put all my heart out there, you know, searching for them like I need to find them. Uh, there's one thing I learned from my pastor back in Ghana, um, is that he said something about expectations and reality. Mm -hmm. So between your expectation and reality is the gap for disappointment, is the gap for argument. Mm -hmm. So there, when in relationship, any kind of relationship, it could be just friends, it could be family, it could be husband or boyfriend or fiance or whatever even mother to child or um, father between parents and their children in their children there is some level of expectation that we all have of the other person that you expect them to treat you this way respect you this way or do this or do that but there is also a reality that we all have to wake up to yes maybe yeah. you expect them to die for you <laughs> but in reality when yeah. that time comes they're not going to you know go down for you not because <laughs> they hate you but yeah. because they have other people that they need to live for yes so yeah. at that point you will become disappointed thinking that i was expecting her to go down for me oh she didn't love me that much but Truth is that it's not that she hates you, but she has other people to live for. Yeah. You, you know, I, I, when I would say in my immature days, in my younger days, because I see myself to be growing every day and maturing every day by the grace of God. <laughs> so in, you know, the younger version of me would have been mad at somebody for not, you know, going down for me 
you know, not giving me the things that I thought they could have given me, not being there for me. But I have come to a point that I have made peace with myself. I'm like, look, right now, being especially being a mother, maybe motherhood has also opened my eyes to a lot of things I didn't know back in the days. Yeah. I'm like, ain't nobody worth my sacrifice more than my children. <laughs> Well, we still you get know, disappointed. I would we go do. above and beyond for my child before I would go above and beyond for my sister. I'm just being honest with yeah. you all here. Yeah. That's the reality <laughs> factor. The human, that, that is the reality. <laughs> so nobody should have too much expectations of me. <laughs> because <laughs> right now, there are little human beings in my life that are vulnerable. They are depending on my physical support, my uh, my emotional support to them, my spiritual support to them. I have to be able to fill my own cup in yeah. order to give them that. So by the time I finish giving them those, how much do you think I have more left for anybody? I mean, let's just be honest. Not so much. My, uh, my sister said, Winnie and family said, she has come to a point that she doesn't think she wants to do all this best friend stuff. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> that's so cool right there. Because in that way, you stop getting disappointed. In that way, you stop expecting too much from people. Yes. So if you, you put your love out there, you know, just spread it out there. Be honest with people. Be nice to people. Be kind to people. Okay, if they, they, they tend to be kind to you back, oh, praise God. If they are not kind to you back, you move on. You are not disappointed because you are not even expecting them to anyway. Yes. I don't yeah, know if one, that makes sense. It does make no, sense. Does. One thing, okay, Paula, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I was listening to Alice, but at the same time, we are stronger than we used to be, Alice, because both of us are tenderhearted. But you, I know you, and I know that there will be some times when, I don't care what you're saying right now, that you would sacrifice, and you would sacrifice, <laughs> and you would sacrifice for me. And you know what it is? We come to the point where we have balance in our lives. You know, that I ask God, should I do this for this person sometimes now? You know, or should I do that? And, you know, and so that you're not taking advantage of but realistically, we still get hurt a little bit when we get to, and we still get disappointed, but not as much as we used to. And Alice, if you know her, I love her. I love her because she's sweet and she cares deeply about people. And she will, she's not saying that she won't that sacrifice. Why she I was sacrifice. getting hurt. That was why I was getting hurt because I feel like, where am I going wrong with people? Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, let's just be honest here. It's it's really, really hurt you to the point that you could sit at the edge of your bed and cry. Uh, I yes. have sat at the bed of uh, the the edge of my bed and cried, not more. I mean, not less than three times. I mean, I can't even keep count of the number of times I have cried because I, I was hurt. So um, I would like to come in here. Um, we, we are having people join us. So um, please, thank you all for joining us. We really appreciate. So we are streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and then now I try to add TikTok also. So those on TikTok are listening. If you are from TikTok, thank you for joining. We'll let you come in. If you have something to say, just let me know, and we'll let you say whatever you, you have to say, like your contribution. But thank you all for joining. And I really appreciate that we have you women here talking about this. Like we are trying to talk about the reality, things that really happens in life. We just have to spill it out there. We should say it as it is. And I'm really happy that we are doing that. So thank you all so much. If you just joined, we are talking about ghosted by important friends. Have you ever been ghosted by people in your life? They just go quiet on you. They just don't say anything. Why do you think that happened? Is it from you? Is it from their side? 
why do you think they just go quiet on you without saying anything and is it good for them to just go quiet on you without saying anything and this topic is really bringing other sides like other life lessons we are we are talking about um, a wide range of things here today so thank you so much ladies for joining we are looking forward for our men to also join and share their experiences <laughs> but whilst we are waiting for them we'll go on and then share whatever we have to share here so thank you so much and i really appreciate all of you joining making time to join so for me what i'm going to add to what alice is saying is that i feel like most of the times i'm just going to use myself an ex as an example we invest so much in relationships not romantic relationships but like we put in all our hearts and then sometimes when whatever we expect sometimes we have so much expectations of people we sometimes we expect that what the way we are treating them we expect them to treat us the same way and what i have learned in this life i'm not that old <laughs> what i've learned in this life from the age that i've gotten to is that if you are doing something for someone just don't expect anything from them if you are friends with someone don't expect anything from them open your heart do whatever you are going to do with for them even your siblings don't expect so much from them family don't expect so much from them whatever you are supposed to do or whatever you want to do for them just do it without expecting anything because if you have some kind of an expectation from people that you do things for people that you love you are going to be disappointed big time mm -hmm. that yes. thing like it breaks your heart like it will take you time to heal sometimes i feel like even that one is even more than um romantic relationships broken heart <laughs> it will take you time to heal especially when you are disappointed by people you call best friends or people you call family so that is that is my part i'm just going to leave everything for you ladies to talk about because i'm enjoying mm -hmm. this one so let's continue can i you chip in there a little bit the is that okay join us yeah mm -hmm. i don't think we should be expecting men to join us because this kind of behavior uh, you know thing we're talking about it's mostly among women if you all will agree with me <laughs> i really wish that my page okay. i really wish uh -huh. i could have been able to join with my page so that my followers could have received a notification to join because oh. they, they really like topics like this and they find it um interesting mm. um i don't know how we are learning stream here <laughs> I don't know they how don't, many they, most of them don't know about my profile. It. You can also download the whole video after most of them don't know about my um profile. In the live so do you mind sharing this on your like on your page? How do I say from your profile to your page? I can do that. Um, from the one you are using right now to your page so that we yeah, see how it's, it's going to I can to do work. that. You know what yeah. I can do? Let mm -hmm. me see. Um because i know if i join for my page they will get notifications to join in let me leave the life and then try to join back again for my page okay sounds that good. okay yeah. mm -hmm. i'll be back thank you ladies okay. sounds good. please let's continue okay ladies i'm gonna have to go i came oh. in i came in from church oh okay what i was doing behind the scenes was catching up on eating but i'm gonna um do some things that i need to do but okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be listening. I'm gonna be okay. listening, but I'm just gonna leave this um chat room, okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you thank so you much so for the stars and thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Okay, so we continue. If you are you there, do you want to share? Oh, um asking for now. I came not long ago, so um, I want to listen more. I want to learn more. So, okay. for my comments, I'll wait for some time. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you so much. So, we'll be here. 
So um, as we were saying, we've really touched on a lot on this topic. This topic has taken us to other topics. Um, so let us move to, um, like, we've talked about why people do not do that, like, why people decide. Okay. Hello, Winnie. I'm back. Now I'm joined for my page. That's awesome. Hi. Okay. Right, so. Are you able to share? Talking before I joined the live. I don't mean to. No, it's okay. But um, I wanted to say something regarding the statement you made. If that's okay. Go ahead. Okay. You said something about have you recently? You made a statement that have you recently been ghosted by uh, a friend for no mm -hmm. reason and. Mm -hmm. Is it a good thing, or do you think there's something that you did per se that made the friend ghost you or the groups of friends, right? Yes. In the context of social media, okay, being out there as content creators, um, mm -hmm. I would say that my presence of social media has made me a target among friends to be ghosted. I've been ghosted by so many friends because of my social media presence, right? And it could be, um, not, not even it could be, it is because of um, one or two reasons. As content creators, we come out here, we talk. Like the, the topic you brought up, being ghosted by friends. There could be that one friend out there, we, we would take this personal and take this to heart as if you are referring to them. <laughs> so I feel like a lot of my topic that I bring on social media, friends feel as though they can no longer discuss things with me. That when they do, I will bring it to social media. And I am indirectly talking to them. You know, so I have found that being out there in the open, in a, in a public space, like being content creators, putting ourselves out there has made me a target. I, I, I call it a target because it is a target. I could be sharing my own experiences, sharing my own past experiences, okay? But the people in my life would rather feel otherwise. If something happens to me with a friend, maybe I am partially to be blamed for this because I don't feel to anything I say on my platform. I say it as it is. Whatever happens in my life, I say it as it is and I don't feel to it. Why? Because I believe that whatever things I am going through, there's one or two followers out there that are also experiencing the same thing. So I try as hard not to filter my life. You know, I try to make my life 99% unfiltered. But there's always that 1% that is filtered. And that 1% could be as a result of, hey, if I'm having a misunderstanding with my husband, we are fighting, I'm going to filter that 1%. I'm not going to put that out there in the public unless it's a mishap and it finds itself on social media, right? <laughs> so I don't think I am to be blamed for it. Um, and do I think it is a good thing that I was ghosted by this friend or my friends you know, I see it more as an awakening, a call, uh, like, like a call to action kind of thing, mm -hmm. right? I see it more as, um, were you truly my friend to begin with? Mm -hmm. That is just my own perspective of it, okay? Yeah. That, that's just how I see it. As of recent, I had a friend that goes at me. This friend was following me on social media, back to back, was very active on my page. But I soon discovered that um, I could not give them what they wanted me to give them because I had already made some business arrangements with, other, with another friend. Mm -hmm. So they felt as though, you know, I, I wasn't supportive of them. And so they ghosted me. <laughs> They ghosted me, but you know what? That just went to show me that 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 just goes to show me that um, you were never meant to be in my life. Yes. So to me, when I'm ghosted by friends, I take it as a lesson learned, 
And every given day that goes by in my life, 